Imagine this. A high-profile defamation case that has been making headlines for months. A case that involves a former president and a renowned writer. This is the reality of the E. Jean Carroll vs. Donald Trump defamation trial. In April of 2023, the writer E. Jean Carroll gave a heart-wrenching testimony in court. She accused Donald Trump of raping her in the mid-90s, sharing detailed accounts of the alleged assault. Carroll's lawsuit seeks damages and a retraction of Trump's statement in which he called her a liar. Trump, on the other hand, has vehemently denied the allegations, labeling Carroll as the liar instead. As we moved into May, the intricacies of the case became clearer. Carol had initially filed the lawsuit back in 2019 after Trump denied her allegations and claimed he had never met her. The case saw a shift from the New York Supreme Court to federal court, a move initiated by the Justice Department, arguing that Trump's denials were made in his official capacity as president. However, the courts rejected the government's attempt to substitute itself for Trump as the defendant. Amid this, Carroll's attorneys accused Trump of refusing to cooperate with the discovery process. Interestingly, Trump was deposed in the case and chose not to invoke his Fifth Amendment rights. Carroll's attorneys have plans to file a second lawsuit against Trump under New York's Adult Survivors Act. In a twist, Trump countersued Carroll, but the court dismissed his countersuit. Fast forward to November, the question of presidential immunity became a focal point. The D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals is currently contemplating whether Trump can be sued over his speech to the crowd on January 6th, a decision that could potentially influence his criminal cases. This delay has sparked debate regarding the extent of Trump's immunity. The E. Jean Carroll v. Donald Trump defamation trial has seen a series of dramatic turns. From poignant testimonies to legal maneuvers and the looming question of presidential immunity, the case continues to evolve. This trial is not just about these two individuals, it's a broader discourse on sexual misconduct, the power of truth, and the reach of presidential immunity. As the world watches, the pieces of this legal puzzle continue to shift, and only time will reveal the final picture. Make sure to hit the YouTube subscribe button to stay informed with the latest news. Thank you for watching WRMT News. If you liked this video, please go to WRMT.TV, make a viewer donation, and help us build the best independent news organization. Be part of the movement to replace corporate-owned news media and make sure that you get the stories that matter to you.